I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. Four Iowa nursing homes, including one in Sioux City and one in Sergeant Bluff, have been added to the federal list of the nation's worst care facilities, according to the Sioux City Journal. The four Iowa homes added to the list since July include Westwood Specialty Care in Sioux City, Embassy Rehab and Care Center in Sergeant Bluff, Harmony West in Des Moines, and the Ivy at Davenport. I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. Sioux City and four other Iowa public school districts have been named in a federal lawsuit that challenges a state law placing restrictions on LGBTQ students and school materials. Iowa Senate File 496 is known by critics as the Don't Say Gay Law. The suit names Sioux City, Iowa City, Urbandale, Waterloo, and West Des Moines districts as plaintiffs. Also named as defendants in the suit are the superintendents and school boards of each district acting in their official capacity. Sioux City Superintendent Rod Erlewine and all seven current school board members, Dan Greenwell, Lance Emke, Jan George, Trayla Lee, John Myers, Bob Michelson, and Earl Miller were named as defendants. M. Key, Lee, Myers, and Miller just took their oaths of office Monday following their election in the November 7th general election. The Sioux City Transit System says it's meeting the needs of visually impaired and blind transit riders by offering bus route schedules in Braille. The schedules are available at the Martin Luther King Jr. Ground Transportation Center in downtown Sioux City. That's Siouxland Public Media News. For updates, go to kwit.org. I'm Mary Hartnett.